What's up guys, this is Kyle from Wax Museum. I hope everybody's doing well. Those of you that listened to episode 119 where I talked about getting organized, as part of my mail day segment on there, I talked about a card that I got in the mail, which was this one right here. Um, it is a 1974-75 Topps George Gervin rookie, and it's in rough shape. You guys know I like cards that are in rough shape. I really didn't need another Gervin rookie, but I actually bought this card for the slab. And like I said on the episode, that's probably the first time I'll, I've ever said that. And um, so what drew me to it was this, and, and the price wasn't bad. I got this for, I don't know, like 35 shipped, somewhere in that range, maybe 40 shipped. Um, but um, the card itself is roughed up, and you can see that, and, and you can see the surface um, took a, a big hit here, but it's in a CSG slab. And CSG is a company that is not new to grading, but it's new to grading sports cards. They've graded Pokemon cards, they've graded comics, they've got quite the reputation there. They brought some people over that have been in the sports card grading industry for a long time. And um, the first thing, you know, so I wanted to try them out. I wanted just to kind of see, um, hold one in hand and, and own one, and that way I could compare it to other stuff. Well, people indicated they wanted to see that, so here goes. Um, the first thing that stood out to me when I got this slab in the mail was how clear it was. And, uh, you know, I it's hard to, I'm going to try and show you all the angles, but this thing is clear. And yes, I know I have a sleeve on this, so I'm not trying to, you know, change the way that this is seen. But you can see um, that PSA has, I don't know what you want to call it, but they have this texture. And you can look on one of your own PSA slabs. This is not because of the sleeve. But they have this texture here. Well, here's one that's not in the sleeve. You can see the texture that's on there. That kind of darkens the slab a little bit. So um, if you were to compare those, one is you know way clearer than the other one. Um, so I also like the subgrades on here. I'm not wild about the really tall label. It feels like there's extra space there, especially when there's no subgrades. It feels like there's extra space. But I know there are cards out there that have a lot more to say on them than just, you know, Topps George Gervin. So um, I can get used to that. I do like that there's a security feature here. If you look at this green portion, if it's at a different angle, maybe you can see it. But um, there's a security feature there that that's kind of nice. Probably not um, immune to being counterfeited, but it is something that will at least make it a little bit harder. And that's, you know, what we want to ask for here is at least make it a little bit harder, which is what PSA has done with their Lighthouse labels as well. So as far as how does this stack up to the other companies um, physically and, you know, durability, this feels like a really premium slab when you hold it in your hand. I like, you know, this is kind of a, a heavy feeling slab, but it's very clear. Um, here's the back. I haven't scanned this QR code yet, um, but that's on there as well. And um, just overall, very premium feeling slab. So I've got a, if I were to put it next to PSA to compare the height, um, they are about the same height. Okay, so they are about the same height. I think PSA is just a hair taller. It's hard to get the angle so you can see it on the camera. But to me, PSA is a hair taller, so I would put them like that if we're going from shortest to tallest. I've got a uh, BGS slab here. This is a Vince Carter 8, Vince Carter Chrome Rookie 8. It is smaller in height than both of them, but thicker. It looks to be thicker than those two. Um, I've got, just for kicks, this came in a lot that I bought. I got a GMA, which... You know, I always feel like I look at GMA slabs, and they, they've got the texture up here, too. I feel like, oh, that's got to be the smallest of all the slabs. Well, actually, if you hold them up, um, it's taller than the BGS. It's taller than, actually, all of these that I've got here. GMA is taller. Um, here's a BCCG, which is was a kind of a cheaper version that Beckett put out at one point. They're the smallest out of these. Um, who am I missing? Well, I don't. Do, I don't have any HGA slabs. I don't plan on reviewing those. I don't uh, care much about those. I've got um, an SGC. Actually, I've got the old one and the new one here, which they're pretty much the same size. Let me show you the differences in those real quick. Um, you've got your label. I really like the new label for vintage stuff 
on the back the old one has this gold stamp uh, on the new one it's etched into the plastic so I'm not going to stack both of those on there because they're pretty much the same size but um, if we were to stack those so the SGC is shorter than the GMA okay so here here is the the order and you can guess what you can see which one's the clearest in there this the CSG really stands out so we've got BCCG BGS, uh, CSG, I believe that's, yeah, PSA, SGC, GMA. Okay, and maybe um, I'll have to label that later on maybe to make that easier for you. But those are the rankings from tallest to shortest. Um, a few other things I want to show you here while I got them. I, I tried to get cards that were similar, similar, you know, be it similar sets. Um so I've got a couple of 57s. Um, now, of course, the SGC slab is, you know, I talked about how clear the CSG one is. Well, the SGC one is actually very clear as well, but they've got that tuxedo that they talk about that frames the card, and I like that. Um, I know I joke about, you know, they put all these memes up about tuxes, and I think they're goofy, but I do like the card being framed like that. So... Um, there's those two slabs compared to so this one's a lot more clear. Um, the SGC is considerably taller. A um, couple other things real quick here. Let's talk about thick slabs. I don't have a thick slab for several of the companies, but I do have a PSA and I do have a BGS. BGS is very thick, um, but it, it feels secure. I like these thick slabs if I'm going to have one. You can see, take the, the B, um, BGS slab, there's like a portion that juts out on the bottom. Basically add another one of those and you get the, the width of the 130-point uh, card in a slab, which is what this Baylor patch is. And then I do not really like the PSA thick slabs. Love this card, though, by the way, Steph Curry stat line. Um, love that card. The thick slab for PSA, though, I'm not a huge fan of. It's just there's so many things. It looks like jutting off of the actual card itself. And um, there they are compared. So you got your PSA and you got your BGS. One last thing I want to show you, hopefully I'm not forgetting anything, is tall cards. So I've got a couple here. I've got a few here to show you. I've got this Kareem Rookie. It's an SGC1. Looks like somebody maybe used it to wipe, um, but I'm very happy to own it. You guys know I love my ones. So there's my Kareem rookie. Um, here is the, I've got a Wilt. It's not a rookie, but it's from that same set. And you can see the, the texture that makes it not as clear of a slab. So if you're to put those up to one another, the PSA is bigger on both sides. The height is the same. Height is pretty much the same, but the PSA is bigger on both sides so that's a, a bigger slab I like these they're thin uh, kind of slim slabs for it being a larger card for years I hated oversized cards but like a Kareem rookie is so significant and another significant card I don't have a 69 in a BVG slab but I do have this Maravich here uh, Maravich rookie and um, these things are in giant slabs and they're also now there is a um, a sleeve in there like Beckett's known for but if you were to stack these on there the Beckett slab is wider than uh, both of the other ones so there you have it that's my slab comparison I hope I didn't miss out on anything if there's anything else that you want to see please let me know in the comments below otherwise new episodes of the Wax Museum podcast every Thursday this Thursday for episode 120 I plan to recap my card show that I did recently and also talk about probably some RPA stuff. So until next time, thanks for watching and I'll talk to you later.